Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game tip top. It's called Click Click Boom by Sean Emerson and is for by me by Thing Twelve Games. Click Click Boom is for two to six players. It takes about twenty to thirty minutes to play the game. In Click Click Boom, you're going to be playing as a little animal who wants to make everybody else go boom and that's the idea of the game so you're gonna have a hand of cards that you can't look at kind of like blind man's bluff and a person on your right and on your left is going to select a card from your hand which you still won't be able to look at you'll put those guys down choose one with everybody else and flip it over and see what happens. All the cards are not good for you. You're either gonna lose cards, uh, coins from your purse, or you're gonna have to put coins into the middle to play as a, a gamble, or you're going to go boom and be out of the round. There's three total rounds. The person at the end of each round is gonna collect all the money in the middle of the pot, and everybody else who went out is gonna keep whatever they have after they have lost it. Your objective is to suck out all the money you can from everybody, and then make them go boom and be the one person to get everything. Let's go ahead and check out what comes in the game. So here we have click, click, boom, and everything that's gonna come in the game. You're gonna get the box of uh, for the cards you're going to get a rule book along with a bunch of playing cards and some tokens now each player is going to get these hands uh, with the boom three of the pay to win put one point in the pot or even lose two coins along with characters and their ability cards these guys over here are promos and this is a little card that's going to explain how each round works pretty simple though and these are coins you're going to be getting and basically going to be putting into the middle of the pot a big plethora of things and all the little cute artworks from things that remind me of happy tree friends let's go and tell you how a uh, setup works and how to play around all right so how do you begin setting up the game pretty simple right you're gonna get a hand of cards they are going to be six cards in total two of them are going to be the red ones which are put to uh, steal two coins and three of them are going to be the put one coin into the pot the final card is a boom card and that will get you out of the round there's three rounds in the game total you're going to start with eight one coins and one big gold one with five to begin the game everybody's gonna put one of these little guys into the middle to ante up for the pot so everybody has something to put in every single round and then it's pretty simple you're going to be using this scorecard along with your character everybody is going to have their own unique character and you can choose to play with the abilities or not with the abilities that'll be up to you and they're going to also have these little abilities here which will tell you start of your turn you can peek at a card in your hand before choosing to decide whether or not you want to uh, place that down and then pull it up and destroy yourself each of these abilities can be used once per shootout or round and after that they can't be used again until the next following round how does it work? All right, on each turn, ask left, ask right. Left player says, okay, we'll shuffle your hand up, right? So you don't know which cards are which. And then you're going to say, okay, Mr. Mr. Magoo, which one do you think is a good card? He'll say, this is the good card. This is not the bomb, I promise. And then I'll say, okay, thanks. And then I go, okay, Mr. Mr. Johnson, go ahead and choose a card. And he'll say, okay, this card is a good one. So then I'll go ahead and put this one next to him and this one next to him. And everybody else will do the same thing in turn order. After that has been done, then you're going to go ahead and choose one of the cards to reveal. All right, three, two, one, flip it over. Okay, I, got, I picked this one. This is pay one coin to the pot. So I have to pay one coin to the pot. Had it been steal two coins I would have actually lost two coins to the person who made me pick this card uh, after that everybody is then going to exchange the card they did not choose provided they didn't get a boom clockwise so this card I didn't pick would go to my left and the player on my right would give me one of his cards that he didn't choose if you drew a bomb card which I imagine is oh who it's right here if I had drawn this bomb card here though I would be out of the round and lost any money that I had put in the pot or had been stolen from me the game is going to continue that way with cards being resolved left and flipping this over and starting to ask right and then left and then once again left and then right and after that if you have not been boomed and there's people left over at the end of the round you're going to then split the pot however if you're the last person left during any of the rounds or during any of the turns you're going to collect everything in the center pot and get all the monies and that's how the game works make sure you use your special ability but that is how you play click click boom so let me tell you what i think about the game along with some of the extra character abilities and caveats this is rory the raccoon and he says at the end of a showdown or a round you get to take coins from from the uh, pot equal to the number of cards you revealed. If you got boomed the first time, you're only gonna get one coin, but if you manage to go around multiple times, you can get a lot of coins from the pot, so that's useful with him. Felix the Fox says, at the start of every round, before any cards are picked, swap your hand with another player. This can be very useful. Uh, Heather the Horse says, start a showdown, point to a player, they must tell you what card they picked. Uh, Carla Coyote, shuffle the first boom you reveal back into your hand, discard one face down. And Brandon Bull, start of showdown, choose which card another player must reveal. That's pretty cool, pretty useful. So they have a bunch of plethora, a bunch of plethora of abilities, basically. You're going to have 
six different ones along with the ability to get the promos. And I think a lot of them came with the promos uh, with these little guys here. So the artwork is solid. I like the artwork. It reminds me of Happy Tree Friends, which is kind of a little, I guess, violent, you would say. So it's something you shouldn't tell your kids to watch if you're deciding to back this game or buy this game. But at the same time, if you like that kind of jokey, more violent humor, then you'll like that. This has a little bit of violence because you have the little, you're not really using guns or anything like that, but it's the idea of sh uh, shootout, shooting with your players. Eventually they're going to go boom, right? So it has that blind man buff bluff aspect as well. Players are going to be choosing back and forth and you'll have the option of choosing between the two players. If a player picks one and the next player on the other side picks the same one, you're going to randomly select a card from your hand uh, yourself. So if they both pick this one, I can say, okay, well, I guess I'll choose this one. And you'll have the option of either selecting the card they both picked or the card you selected randomly, which is kind of cool, right? Um, also, you have the option of, uh, well, you, you're going to be passing around the, the turn order. So you'll be flipping this card over, asking left and right. I don't think you're really make a difference which way you're asking uh, because people are going to die around you and as they die you're going to always be getting different players that are going to come up next to you unless you're dead then you're just out and you play the three rounds and your just, just idea is trying to collect money and it works really well it's super simple to teach super simple to learn the game works really quickly and once you play one round you're definitely going to want to jump in and play the next round i don't really have a lot of negative things to say about the game other than it's a little cutthroat maybe there's a small tidbit of violence i guess you could say but realistically i think it's a family game it's a game i could definitely see myself playing with pretty much anybody and it's definitely a gateway game I would recommend strongly recommend in fact I love these style games I think if you even have an inkling for this one you should definitely check it out description below